It is 4.43, time for traffic and weather together with Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Shay Sorensen, off to look at those current temperatures right now. Yeah, right now it's not terrible here in Tucson. Some of us waking up in the low 50s thanks to cloud cover. Mid 50s out towards Ajo with uh, temperatures to the south end east. A little warmer compared to yesterday in the low to mid 40s. Upper 30s in Wilcox though, so still a little bit cold out there in some spots. So bundle up this morning, but as we work our way into your afternoon, temperatures will rebound into the mid 70s for the warmest spots. Low 40s for the mountains and then to the south and east, mainly mid to upper 60s. Also breezy to windy at times because we do have a couple systems on their way and that will impact us really tomorrow and Friday. And just a quick note, overnight tonight going to get a bit colder as well. Temperatures dropping into the 30s and 40s. The tracking wind gusts today, this is a look at around 4 p.m. Gusts really between 15 and 30 miles per hour, but it looks like the worst of the wind will be for areas east of Tucson, close to about 30 miles per hour in Bisbee, 25 miles per hour in Douglas and 27 miles per hour up towards Oracle. So uh, secure loose objects just in case over the next few days because we'll be dealing with pretty much the same thing tomorrow. This is a look at wind gusts tomorrow around 3 p.m. Uh, anywhere between about 25 and possibly close to 35 miles per hour for our friends towards Bisbee. So again, a little bit gusty the next few days and that's all thanks to a couple systems impacting us and those systems will bring light rain and light high elevation snow, especially for your Thursday and this could linger into Friday as well. Of course, roadway could get a little bit wet, but totals are going to be very light and so light that we um, are not issuing a storm tracker for alert day just because the impacts will be pretty minor. Uh, snow mainly above 7,000 feet, but we could see that snow level drop down to about 6,500 feet. Now for your future tracker, this is 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, and as you can see, we have some light showers on the way, increasing from west to east. So morning commute should be dry tomorrow here in Tucson, but if you live out west, places like Sells, Ajo, could be a wet commute for you tomorrow morning. As we work our way into the afternoon, drying out here in eastern Pima County, a couple showers still rolling through parts of uh, Graham, Greenlee, Cochise, and Santa Cruz County. And we can't completely rule out a couple rumbles of thunder, but uh, again, a lot of us drying out as we work our way towards late Thursday night into Friday morning, but a few showers could linger throughout the day on Friday. Forecast rainfall totals up until 11 p.m. tomorrow, very light. Most of us just seeing trace amounts to a tenth of an inch. Some isolated spots could see a little bit more than that, but again, most of us seeing very, very light uh, rain amounts. And when it comes to snow tomorrow, we could pick up about one to three inches for the mountain tops. That snow level could drop down to about 6,500 feet, though, where we could see a dusting to an inch. Same deal up towards the White Mountains, Mount Graham, seeing about one to three inches. The Chiricahua is possibly just a dusting to an inch. Same deal for the Santa Rita's and possibly the Huachuca Mountains as well. Uh, for your 10-day tracker, getting colder too. So that's going to be one of the bigger impacts from this system. Temperatures will go from 74 today down to 61 tomorrow. And with that wind, it's really going to feel like the 50s throughout the day. So feeling much colder with scattered showers for your Thursday. A little bit breezy on Friday, but most of us stay dry. And then we'll warm things up pretty quickly. Upper 70s by the end of the weekend. Low 80s as we start a new work week. Let's